check it out once again. Madam, can you try now, madam? I'll, I'll just check, ma'am. Is it my screen uh, shared? Ma'am, is it my screen share? No, madam. One minute, one minute. So, it's an kept open. Is it uh, visible? Yeah, now it's visible. So can we start it uh, or uh, the family you will be starting the event or how it is start. going now? Uh, start. The students are in class, madam. Few students are having difficulty in the uh, teams. So it is already uh, students are able to listen. So even though few students are there, but all the, all of them are uh, there in the class. So I think we'll start, madam. I'll start. Yes, ma'am. A very good afternoon to YML presents here. I am Daphne Shalit, Assistant Professor from the Department of AAA and Convener of Institutions Innovation Council of this today's program. I, will I think your voice is not so audible clearly, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, speak. Uh, uh, I welcome all of you to today's virtual session, session for Innovation and Digital and Innovation and Entrepreneurship organized by Institutions Innovation Council in association with the Mechanical Department, Dr. PTIT Project. So, I once again extend a hearty welcome to the guest speaker of today's session, Dr. Nirmala S. Gupta, Dean RD, and Professor, Department of CSC. Convener, IAC cell, and area coordinator uh, from Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, Bangalore. I welcome our principal, vice principal, dean, and head of the ranking and accreditation, 
Dr. P. V. Sudarsh Mitchell and all the students and faculties who have joined for today's session. So we once again welcome you, Madam. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. It's my pleasure. I would like to share a short introduction about the resource person for today's session. So, Dr. Nirmala S. Gupta, Madam, she received PhD from Reva University in 2018 and MTech in Computer Science and Engineering from MSRIT Bangalore, uh, Vishneshwarya Technological University in 2003, and being in Computer Science Engineering from Bangalore University in 1998. Madam has got a total of 33 plus years of experience from both academic and industry and got publication in various reputed journals, mostly most recently, papers got published in Q1 rated and severe pattern recognized letters and Q2 rated in wide journal of healthcare engineering. She published papers in 21 journals, published papers in 30 conferences and one book chapter. So she had published patent, three patents and got two granted out of it. Madam is a certified member for mentor, mentor program ACT and got appreciation as judge and primary evaluator in South Africa 2021 MIC ACT and she was evaluated for Smart India Hackathon 2022 and evaluated 27 ideas. She was the coordinator for mental institution for mentor mentor program 2021 and innovation ambassador ACT. And successfully completed course design thinking tenure uh, with 85% score. We got best SPOC award from Arata Project India Limited in 2017. Madam was the reviewer, Madam is the reviewer in the reputed journals, Stringer Nature, um, International Journal of Speech Technology, and International Journal of Supercomputing, International Journal of Multimedia Tools and Applications, and International Journal for Ambient Intelligence and Humanized Computing. We are uh, very privileged to welcome you, Madam, for uh, today's session. This is a short profile about Madam. Um, participants uh, during the session, whenever you've got any doubts, you can post your queries in the chat box. And um, the queries will be answered at the end of the session. Uh, so, at the end of the session, the feedback will be shared in the chat box. Upon successful submission of the feedback, we will receive the e certificate. So, I, I uh, hand over the session to Nirmala Madam. Over to you, ma'am. Uh, definitely, ma'am. Thank you very much. And uh, very good morning to all the uh, uh, people who are there principal, vice principal, and all other uh, uh, peer uh, professors and dear students and faculty members. And it's my privilege that I have been given this opportunity to be giving you a little bit of knowledge what I am handling it in our uh, uh, institution from last two years. Uh, as an uh, IE Echo space, and I'll be sharing a bit of information from the student perspective about innovation on entrepreneurship at campus and why we require this and how do we go about this. So a, a gist of it, I'm going to uh, give it to the all the members who are there in this particular session. And thank you once again uh, for the entire team of uh, Dr. TTIT for uh, organizing and uh, giving me the opportunity to take over the session. So thank you for briefly reading uh, my profile, ma'am, uh, Daphne, ma'am. Thank you very much. So can I start it, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Uh, see, I'll not be running any presentation because it was very short time and uh, even we are also a little bit uh, busy with a lot of other verticals and mentor menti uh, programs for uh, schools as well as the medical college, which we are handling it for Ramaya Medical College, Area Data Entry, IIC, a lot of things are there and even even uh, equally we are uh, the teachers. I, I call myself as a teacher always than a professor. Uh, so handling all the academics and parallelly balancing everything makes the sense, but a brief talk and I'll be using the whiteboard. So I'll be using my digital pad and I'll be talking to you and asking you the questions and writing and explaining you. So what I know as an experienced IE Ecospace 
available and the necessary requirements what MHRD, MIC ask all the HEIs to adopt and implement and execute it further stakeholders of the higher education institutions. I'll be giving you the glimpse of it. OK, so thank you. So I'll be quickly uh, starting. So my screen is shared. Uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, it is visible. Ma'am, my, my white screen is visible, means my white board is visible. OK, so today we are here to talk about importantly IE. As ma'am rightly quoted, so innovation and entrepreneurship at campus is the topic actually. So innovation, very two important terms. What I could say innovation on entrepreneurship. OK, entrepreneurship. So first of all, I, I don't know whether all the students have joined or not, even though if it is not. So let's discuss that. Why this innovation required for all of us to be frank? So why? Very first question we need to answer and we need to know about why this innovation. Then we will try to define it. What is this innovation? Right. So very first thing is innovation. Why innovation? OK, so innovation always helps us to enhance our creativity. Please understand this is most important, the word. And we can give lectures, hours together, hours together. We can talk with a lot of realistic examples on creativity and which enhances the nature. Yes, the so-called nature that is most important. OK, so then the most important and already our children started understanding this a bit. I don't know, might be people have heard and uh, learned about this design thinking. DT, I'm just writing the short form of it. OK, so as a process of a brand, innovation helps us to enhance the nature. The creativity and the design thinking process. So whenever we wanted to start a business, very simple business, I just wanted to sell my pen in the market. How will I do that? See, there are a lot of brands are there, a lot of models are there, a lot of varieties are there, a lot of colored, right? So a lot of uh, uh, the things which can be observed in our day-to-day -day life. Why always Renault was making and hitting the market almost 20 years back, two decades back, but now, People are not so much addicted or mandatory or thinking about using Renault, right? Because the height of the success by learning the steps which are required for the creativeness. The Renault model is being refined, reformed. A lot of other new models came. A lot of other creativity uh, steps are being bought in. The designs are being changed. Models are being changed. A lot of things happened. So now we start using a lot of n number of brands. I can't really name it. Two decades back, Montex. I don't know. Our children might be not aware of it because they might be in the schooling, right? So Montex and Renald played a very vital role in the pen business or the, the refill, right? The pens. Now, the one important thing what we can understand when we talk about why this innovation, because innovation enhances the creativity and the process of design thinking of a brand, because the brand is Renault, the brand is Montex, the brand is when I say TV, Sony makes it so very, 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 very big name. Still that name is not gone. But what about the other companies, right? So innovation is playing a very, 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 very vital role or a major role in entrepreneurship. Please understand this. This is most important. Entrepreneurship. Innovation play a major role because this innovation in entrepreneurship can open n number of doors of a lot of opportunities by helping the business to keep up with the current trends because that's why the trend is not towards these two brands and these two companies right now because a lot of other people bought their creativity. They applied the process of design thinking. They understand the customer needs. They understand the market supply and demand. They understand 
the way the students, the people, the every one of us, every every literate will use the pen. Correct? No. So there the innovation in entrepreneurship opens the wide number of doors for a lot of opportunities which can help the business to sustain and based upon the current trends, the business can be maintained and keep it up going, going, going. That's the most important. Then why? What are once we understand why these innovation required in entrepreneurship? The next question comes. The second one comes is what are the advantages of innovation? What are the advantages of innovation? Everywhere we talk about ideate, ideation, hackathons, ideathon, innovathon, right? A lot of things happen, toykathon, so many things. But what are the advantages of this particular term innovation plays a role in business? Please understand this word. OK, so what are the advantages? The very first advantage I could give you is the competitiveness, increased competitiveness. Everyone agree with me because this is the world of competitive. Because competitiveness is not there means no life at all. There is no fun in studying. There is no fun in working. There is no fun in fighting. There is no fun in playing a game. Why the people have to go in Olympics and win a lot of medals for our country? There is a competitiveness in the play, in the game, right? So everyone from the day one of our birth, we are in a competitive world, right? So every one of us has to improve our skill set our energies, our knowledge, and we need to explore and experience and transform and transfer whatever we learn in this competitive world. Similarly, when I talk in terms of this competitiveness has to be increased in the business means because the brand recognition and the value makes a lot of differences here. So we need to improvise the brand recognition, please. You need to understand this. When I want to start my business, my brand should be recognized and my brand should have a value, right? So everyone go starts their entrepreneurship, but all of them are not the successful entrepreneurs in the reality, right? So there are new partnerships and relationships and a lot of uh, things which we need to use it to increase the turnover, yes. I'm investing today one rupee means how will I make that one rupee to 10 rupees is my target, isn't it? And how do I make my increased turnover and even return on investment or I could also call it as improved profitability. The profit is also very much important. OK, so like this, we can list out a number of advantages. But I said generically, we have to increase our competitiveness in terms of any parameter. So the parameters what I listed is the brand, the recognition, the value, the partnerships, the new partnerships and making the new relationships to establish and enhance our business and increase our turnovers, improvise our profit. Automatically, the return on investment also play a vital major role, right? So this is about the advantages of innovation in terms of a business. Then the question come, ma'am, why this is so important? OK, so why the question mark, why it is so important? The innovation and entrepreneurship is important for every one of us. Ma'am said at campus means from the student perspective, I need to give you. But I say every one of us actually we are facing this challenge. Innovation and entrepreneurship is very much important as a teacher. How much innovative I am, how much innovative teaching learning process I'm adopting, what new example, new kind of a demonstration tool I'm using to explain a concept to my children in my classroom. That makes the sense for my teaching and the students learning and the ambience what I create. There lies the innovation. So that's why we say that innovation is very much important which enhances the complete creativity, nature, and design thinking process for a brand. Now, when I say Nirmala Gupta, it's a brand. Yes, I'm a professor. I'm a teacher. I need to be branding myself. 
So what ma'am teach? So I need to run and sit in ma'am's ma class. So like that, the branding should be built. Similarly, a student, you need to create your own brand as a student. OK, always it is not like you are coming to college, learning from the faculties, writing internal assessments and assignments, doing something, writing semester and exam and get the degree, get lost from that institution. No, everyone should remember you. So you need to create a brand for yourself. OK, so if I say student X, Y, Z means after 10 years, after 20 years also the your juniors or your management and the society and that particular town or the state or the city should remember you. At least your department should recollect and call you back. Yes, that boy was there. He was innovative. He did this. He has achieved this. He got the prize for it and he completely converted that idea into a product and the product has come into market. See, a lot of things play a role. Today, I'm not going to talk to you the complete cycle of the entrepreneurship how you can become entrepreneurship okay but you need to know that innovation is a very much important specific tool please understand i'm bringing your uh, engineering terminology okay so it acts like a tool okay so means that what a specific tool which of entrepreneurs require is called as innovation so innovation is one of the tool please understand this innovation is not a topic or a concept or a thing or a place it's a tool okay so we need to use this innovation as a specific tool of any entrepreneur means to say that which will help a person or any one of us to exploit the change as an opportunity for a different business or for a different service. Why always I need to serve under some management or to an organization? Why can't I own my brand? Why can't I bring my brand and why can't I get my recognition and make myself to give an opportunity to the other people to work in my organization? So it means like innovation acts as a specific tool which creates an ambience for the capabilities of being presented in a discipline, capable of being learned, capable of being practiced. So like this, the definition, we can give it for innovation as it is the process. Now I'm coming to the third point. What is innovation or definition of innovation? OK, what is innovation? What is innovation? Anyone can answer. Please unmute and answer. Innovation. So far we have spoke so much. A preamble or an introduction about innovation. Why innovation? What are the advantages of innovation? Right. And why innovation in entrepreneurship is important. Also we spoke. So now the question we need to know the answer ourselves. Innovation is a process of creating something new. Please understand this. It's a process of creating something new creating something new right so when i say it's the process of creating something new it identifies a lot of opportunities in the great innovations and creativities creating an opportunity adds the value keeps the value by improving by time to time or period to period, right? And even the risk tack tackling, because whenever I'm trying to sell my product, no, there are a lot of places I may fall down and I may raise myself. So, but in innovation, there is no major risk involved until unless you know the better solution to come out for that particular major risk, right? So creativity is playing a major role in innovation. Creativity. Pay, play a major role in innovation. So as a student, you need to know very much important thing is creativity. Might be in everyday class, your teachers would have been asked, you must be creative. While writing the answers also, you must be creative. Not like what is innovation means, just write process of creating something new, leave it. No, that's not the creativity. That's not the creativity. Right, so you need to understand creativity is not just whatever I learned, whatever I heard, whatever I read, 
whatever I listen, I just put it as it is. No, the way you put it, the way you design it, the way you apply your thinking capacities to bring out that answer in a beautiful manner and how you narrate and how you depict it in your answer script that makes you to get the maximum marks. Everyone will pass, everyone will get marks because they're writing the definition as process of creating something new. Correct, no. So creativity is the ability to develop the new idea. Creativity is an ability. Please understand, it's an ability. So when I say ability, a child is got the ability by six or nine months to crawl, by eight or 11 months to stand up, by 10 to 12 months to get up and stand and walk on his or her foot, correct? So the child has got the ability. Similarly, a student has got the ability which is helping them to design and develop themselves the new ideas because every day we walk through the roads. We find a lot of issues in the road, drainage systems of our society and surrounding to our college. Lot of problems which are realistic, but you need to apply your cre creativity thinking because it's an ability to develop the new ideas. And once you get the new idea immediately, just you cannot leave that idea as it is. Whatever the idea or ideas, I'm trying to get it, then I'm trying to discover the new ways to looking at that particular problem, which I got an idea to solve that problem and I have to find out an opportunity, find out an opportunity. So that particular process is called as creativity. So creativity is an ability to develop the new ideas as well as we need to find out the new ways at looking at the problem and opportunities. Then the innovation will come. So once we know the creativity, automatically innovation can be given. Again, innovation, I'm trying to define it to you, not just the process of creating the new ideas or something new. Okay, so the ability to apply the creative solution, please understand. So creativity makes us to get to the problems and the opportunities. Please understand this. Problems, problems and opportunities, we try to get it or we try to looking at from the perspective of discovering a new way when we find out or when we try to develop a new idea. So that ability is called as creativity, right? But when I say opportunity, it is. So when I say innovation, innovation is an ability to apply the creative solutions to those problems, what we found out in the fourth step of creativity. So then we are trying to find out to enrich and bring all the enhanced people or in order to bring the people's attention, people's life to be enhanced in our society. So I need to bring out that enrichment to the society. There the innovation play a role, right? So innovation is an ability to apply the creative solutions to the problems and the opportunities in order to enhance the people's lives. And when I say enhancing the people's life is nothing but it's nothing but enriching our society or our surrounding, our neighborhood, right? Then the word actually, this is not fifth word, but the fifth term or the fifth step we need to understand as a student called as entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. What is the formula for entrepreneurship? I'm writing a mathematical simple formula, which is nothing but a simple basic arithmetic formula. Entrepreneurship is nothing but your creativity plus innovation. Cre creativity plus innovation is called as an entrepreneurship. Now the actual theme of the subject come. How does the colleges? help in promoting this innovation? How does the colleges play a role in delivering this entrepreneurship, which is the collective process of creativity as well as innovation? So not that MHRD, MIC given us the opportunity to build the eco space of IE, but as an engineering student or an university or any kind of a college which is private or 
uh, public that is government right so we need to make the children to feel that comfortness of ie please understand innovation and entrepreneurship but innovation makes a major role to get our entrepreneurship so this is my right hand side entrepreneurship this is my left hand side so which is the creativity and innovation makes us to become an entrepreneur or bring out the entrepreneurship or deliver the entrepreneurship so what is the first and foremost important in information about this in entrepreneurship at campus or entrepreneurship to be provided to the st stakeholders of the organization so very first point is we need to establish we need to establish what we are supposed to establish so we need to establish the connection where to whom we are connecting so universities colleges has to connect with industry just as an i mean academic institution nothing much we can do okay we get a lot of problems we get a lot of ideas and even we will be always towards the creativity and bringing out the solution to that problem and opportunity through innovation and we can bring out that entrepreneurship but we need to develop an entrepreneur ecosystem okay so we need to develop an entrepreneurial ecosystem which helps the students to which which provides the students to become entrepreneurs with always the mentorship or advice of uh, like advising the aspects of whom to consult what are the licenses we need to take and where we need to spin off and what kind of education towards entrepreneurship the system or the process that the college should be giving the student making the student to be get inspired to start their own companies or to their own ventures okay so when i say establishing the connection with the industry you need to establish even the most important by understanding the principles of innovation so we need to bring out this connectivity to be established with the industry so a lot of uh, things we need to understand while establishing the connection connection or while establishing the eco space in the space and the logic the modality and we have to inspire the students not always to become an employee you have to become an employer so we need to bring out that model or the culture in our educational institutions right then there are a lot of examples of innovations lot of examples of entrepreneurship okay so lot of examples i can give you n number of examples at the back that uh, uh, what you say that bottle uh, light bulbs energy producing roads and uh, the medical drones mobile water safety checking machines solar rechargeable heating devices solar panel cleaning see so even we are also making our children to work on n number of ideas similar to this because what is not there or what is there which can be improvised which can be enhanced for the betterment of the customer for the betterment of the society which can enhance the uh, people lives such kind of innovations we need to bring it out through students right so what is the role of this innovation again plays a major role in entrepreneurship so because the raising competition day to day the competition is extend extensively increasing so whatever the yesterday competition was there today it is not there so today new thing i need to address isn't it because always the competition is raising so many entrepreneurs have started discussing talking about innovation and they have given the meaning to the innovation and they have given why entrepreneurship what does the innovation play a major role and how the innovation is basically replacementing or replacing something or improvising something right so there are a lot of uh, uh, places the entrepreneur also play a role so for that what we are supposed to understand is we need to have a creative development at the education institution okay so creative development means the innovation has to enhanced so we need to bring the design thinking in place and we need to bring out the culture of or nurture the children not only becoming an employee you need to become an employer so whatever the idea you are trying to bring it today and making it as a mini project or a main project can we enhance it 
and please before ideating or before bringing the idea to the mentor or the faculty or the project coordinator please see that make a solid groundwork please this is very 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 much important i'm not asking you to bring out a new product means always everyone can't bring out this new product please keep it in mind everything can't be new whatever is existing try to enhance this is most important try to enhance bring out the improvisations bring out the improvements right in in improvements in terms of the size in terms of the time taking in terms of the model in terms of the functionality in terms of the cost in terms of everything power energy everything belongs to whatever the uh, idea you are trying to bring it out as a solution right as an innovation right so you need to creative you need to have the creative development initially before you could thought of improvisation so once you got the creative development as the first thing creative development then automatically that creativity makes you to go beyond the development and you will start improvising the existing system so creative development then after creative development we always think about the persistent improvement so i call it as improvement right then the branding comes because already there is a brand i'm enhancing that so you need to reinforce please remember and understand children so you need to reinforce okay you need to reinforce your brand to that your brand to that okay so there lies the major the challenge the the process of branding which which is uh, always helps that innovation leaders okay to bring out what the ways of being more innovative and what are the things to, things i need to look into which is very critical at the highest criticality because the many drivers are there to drive that particular product but when you are reinforcing your brand you need to be very cautious then the fourth thing, thing or the fourth important point you need to remember as innovation play a major role in entrepreneurship and as a student you need to see that what best way you are going to make your existing product so making the best of your existing product best of your existing product this is also makes more more important and critical uh, parameter to be addressed okay so to sustain in the market so this is most important what best you are going to make and what you are going to bring it so as we know that once i am going to sell my pen as an entrepreneur so i need to importantly i need to understand that what is the new product is coming into picture or how do i introduce a new product how would how would i see that uh, maintain the innovative culture making the best of the old product okay my pen is not selling the renault is not selling as an example i'm taking so what best the creativity what best the innovation i need to bring it which is most important to improvise my existing product which can help the company to increase its efficiency its profit its return on investment etc etc so with the help of these enhancements of dt process please understand your design thinking capability should be very high okay because you need to be in the customer shoes you need to understand that you yourself is going to buy the pen not only as a manufacturer or a brand or a marketing person you need to market it so with the continuous innovative improvements the the entrepreneur as a student you need to start attracting the better person better target audience okay so you need to attract as a company owner or a entrepreneur so the fifth thing you need to remember as a entrepreneur you wanted to become or you wanted to sustain the trends and the competition as from the beginning i was talking to you competition trend okay because uh, you need to respond to the lot of competitors who are there in the market and how best you can run in the race to win the race right so the current success the current needs you need to focus on predicting the future trends also what next you need to be ready with that not what now you need to be always thinking what next what tomorrow what next month what is my next quarter 
So with the help of this innovation in entrepreneurship can help you to respond to the future needs, right? And the future products and it, which will help you as an entrepreneur or a businessman to come out with a lot of solutions which make your business to grow more and more. OK, then uh, once we are setting the trend and uh, competition world, then the last uh, uh, two last two things to be kept in our mind as the students, because every student comes out with an idea, start their startup, register under MSME, but after a year or two, they will close it. Please don't do that. So you need to have a unique selling point, a unique selling point. OK. This is also most important. So because the consumers generally consider the innovation as something which can add some interesting value to its product, right? So innovation in entrepreneurship will always gives you the additional advantages that will help as an entrepreneur or a business person in getting positive exposures. So this is most important to keep it in our mind. Then uh, the last thing is social media. Obviously, we're all good at it. And as children, you are the students who rock in the store show so social media than us. What I could say, yes, I'm very poor in using that. OK, because we the three, four decades or five, five decades people back people. Now the current trend is different, right? And uh, as I would like to tell you, a lot of social media organizations will help you to make your innovation campaign. Please remember this innovation campaign because one can attract the wide range of ideas using the social media, your Twitter, Instagram, right? Your LinkedIn, you can add on your profile will be adding. So your contacts networking happens. So social uh, uh, media can can make you to get get the most uh, the way you create your own motivating, like you will become the get the most uh, motivational uh, things, managing, getting a lot of ideas, focusing ideas to your business when you start working out and start looking into the other brands and uh, the other sites like even Facebook, even your Twitter, Instagram, so wonderful, I could say, right? So social media helps a business to know what are the basic needs of the customer? That is the one thing. So social media play a very, very major vital role to improve your products to fulfill the demands based upon the supply, the supply demand chain you need to understand to make your business to grow very much in a progressive way. Not the graph goes up and comes down. No, always you need to think that it should go linear graph. It can't be having any bends and curves. OK, so always your business should be in the linear graph. So means to say always you are growing higher, higher. So many companies uh, have started the same business also. You should not lose your courage. OK, so how good you are going to adopt your creativity and your ideas to attract the your existing customers and through your existing customers, the other customers, and how do you meet their demands and a lot of competition uh, which is there available in the market. So it is not so easy as an entrepreneur to survive, but still for an entrepreneur, you need to get always fit to face the difficulties to survive without having any hesitation. But once you want to come out and sustain, no, so you need to have the innovative ideas. You need to have a better team. See, team is must and you need to have various attractive deals to sell your product. So to make your business, to make your entrepreneurship to survive and grow in the market, it is important to have right skills with the right and the great knowledge to apply the innovation of your business in the right place and the right time. So you cannot sell sweaters in the summer, correct? No, sweaters are woolen products or the warm, the thermals, can be sold where in a cold country or in the season where it is very much required by the society, by the people. So you need to think in that perspective. So apply the right skill, right idea, right solution with a great knowledge to apply the innovation to your business, which will add like an attained 
a parameter in a right way to the right people in a right time, you can hit the market and you can sustain in the market for the better opportunities and for the better growth in the improvisation of your return on investment or profits. OK, so these are the most important thing as students. You need to keep it in your mind and I always encourage that you come out with your idea, bring out your product, then we can incubate your product. Yes, obviously there is a life cycle. So whatever the idea you get it, that is not the end product. We already know. So the pro idea should be converted into a prototype, prototype or a model. All right, then once the prototype or a model is ready, right? then we need to test it and ask whether it can be patented because we need to get an approval. So we need to see that no such model, no such product, no such solution which is available in the market or which can compete or which can give a, a competition or a claim asking that, yes, this is available in the market means we need to, we cannot sustain for a long run, right? So after the prototype, we need to incubate that prototype. So we call it as pre-incubation, right? So once the product is pre-incubated, then we need to incubate, right? Then after incubation and the patent process completes, then we need to bring out the product as a product and we can commercialize the product. and. Actually, the challenges comes here and here only. So when you bring out the product, no. So your creativity, your innovation in entrepreneurship play a vital role. How you are going to release this? How you are going to commercialize this? When you commercialize, are you going to hit the right market in the right place in the right manner? And are you going to uh, get your investment cost and the return on investment? So a lot of process, a lot of challenges play very much vital role. So there are a lot of reasons why the people get motivated and uh, start their entrepreneurship. I agree because it's not like always we need to work under somebody. Yes, let's make our own platform. Let, let us let us make our own comfort zone where we can apply our novelty and we can apply our thinking and design thinking process and we can make ourselves as a brand. We can stand and get the recognition as a brand. So we need to promote always the student innovation and entrepreneurship, which is the main priority of a college or an institution in an education system. So there are many opportunities which are available from the government of India and government of Karnataka as we the institution and the students always we need to be there in the race to win the race. We need to expand ourselves to know that what the educational institution get the benefits, get the opportunities, get the platforms to showcase our creativity, our innovations to the society, to the other institutions, to the other universities and to the world. So like this, we need to bring out a culture. We need to bring out a culture in the educational system saying that always we need to foster the innovation and entrepreneurship in our colleges increasingly so which can offer a lot of programs See, we can all children i suggest you please attend whether you win or not more and more coding contest okay i know you are all doing it but still more and more coding context right showcase your talent and design and development of prototypes or your models okay or your please try to do more mini projects not all mini projects can be enhanced please try to explore okay so try to attend try to attend lot of hackathons it could be ideathon innovathon hackathon trackathon whether it is country level whether it is state level whether it is university level whether it is college level or whether it is your own college intra inter department level please do attend OK, so there you get a lot of exposure and networking happens. You start collaborating with the other department people. You start talking to the other section people and you start correlating and coordinating and sharing your knowledge and transfer the ideas and even the solutions. You can bring it out as a better solution and you can stand as a good entrepreneur in the society. So across the educational disciplines, always we need to establish this kind of uh, ambience or an uh, platform. So as an institution, we are always there to provide you by establishing uh, uh, the more and more skill development activities on innovation and entrepreneurship, more and more sessions like this from IIC, which is an MHRD MIC initiative. And you need to always 
try to strive to emphasize on hands-on learning than a bookish kind of a learning because bookish will never help you to sustain in the world because the world is competitive always day by day the competition is increasing it will never come down okay so many colleges or argumenting the traditional classroom instructions in a novel way will not sustain because increasing educational opportunities outside the classroom, which includes the students to help and uh, make their entrepreneurial, uh, what you say, spirit joining the clubs, do student clubs and sharing their knowledge, transferring their knowledge, gaining the knowledge and towards the multi-dimensional activities towards entrepreneurship because always you are in electronics you'll be in electronics only please try to communicate with mechanical people yes you both really make a lot of successful products to come out yes obviously coding requires you communicate to even csis students yes make one team combined with the four departments always not be with the circuitry departments to come out with some idea and bringing out a solution OK, so the most of the campuses uh, gives the variety of dimensionality. Uh, I mean, the activities in terms of uh, innovations, uh, entrepreneurship, then uh, supporting networks, making uh, mentors. So you can mentor your own junior. No issue at all. Always don't think that you are a student. You are a mentor. OK, you are learner as well as you are a teacher so you can train your own juniors you can bring out the opportunities for your juniors further you can develop your own innovative ideas through your juniors you can make a team you can continue the work you can work for an organization as an employee but parallelly make the team to work on behalf of you with your supervision OK, so a lot of courses, degrees normally we offer as an education institution on innovation entrepreneurship right but just the training and the degree programs will never serve until unless we have a hands-on experience say a lot of examples we can give it a lot of case studies are there to give it on uh, creating elevator pictures attracting uh, connecting with the local business leaders making an app to sell the better food to your own students from the canteen and making asking them to get the choice from their desk or from their room only they need not go see a lot of lot of things are there innovative things and uh, when uh, the student comes into the class itself you can have the attendance to be taken the gate itself they need not uh, make the faculty to call the names and waste the time. So a lot of things are there which is innovative, which we are not having it in our systems. So we can bring out as an educational, higher education institute, engineering students, you can do wonders. You can really do wonders. You can correlate with medical students or pharmaceutical students or even nursing students. Please take the real pain of them, the problems what they are facing, but they're not technically sound enough. They are medically sound enough. So you can bring out some solutions to them. Correct? No. So like this, you can bring out your creativity, design thinking, make your own brand and bring innovation in entrepreneurship. Right? So this is what I was uh, intended and uh, the glimpse of my experience and my team and our institution, what the uh, exclusive eco space we got it as uh, innovation entrepreneurship cell which we call it by the name curites but curites is not only innovation and entrepreneurship we also take care of social responsibilities education entrepreneurship uh, development skills we also have the culture of making the complete process of product to be get released so we can as an institution as the students please come out request make yourself to be an entrepreneur end of the day than sitting as an employee for an organization so i will be concluding by this uh, particular simple brief glimpse on innovation and entrepreneurship at campus and in particular i spoke and gave you a bit of knowledge what i had it i'm shared about innovation in entrepreneurship with respect to students. So uh, I'm concluding uh, the session right now. Ma'am, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. 
on uh, innovation and entrepreneurship and uh, thank you for motivating the students uh, towards uh, innovation like to enhance their ideas like uh, to enhance their ideas with the existing um, uh, think product whatever it is so thank you madam thanks a lot for sharing the idea the sharing the sharing the session in fact we this was a different session for us because all the speakers they usually present ppt but without ppt i think uh, this session was very much um, useful and it was very much um, <clears throat> very much effective madam thanks a lot for sh sharing your knowledge no ma'am if the time was there i would have at least made some 5 to 10 slides with videos no. sorry i could no. not do it no. normally no. i run through images and videos more then i okay. write and explain more uh, okay, today i'm okay. missing that i would have shown them some motivating images motivating brands and how they okay. have come out the life cycle from them a lot of examples are there our oyo we can take a lot of examples okay. are there a very uh, sustained uh, entrepreneurs uh, who were our own uh, children of age very uh, very less i could say less than 30 they are sustaining in the market engineering okay. students that too so thank you okay. thank you very much thank you madam thank you thanks a lot madam now i invite um, dr p sudarshan and sir head of ranking and accreditation to render the vote of thanks sir over to you sir uh, very good morning to all uh, i am happy to propose the vote of thanks at the end of this knowledge sharing session by dr nirmala s gupta uh, I thank Madam uh, for uh, uh, Dr. Nirmala S. Gupta, Head of uh, CSC and uh, Artificial Intelligence, Angadeshwara College of Engineering, for sharing her knowledge and enlightening the students. Thank you, Madam. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Uh, I also take this opportunity to thank the management principal, vice principal, and dean for uh, supporting uh, such kind of activities in our college. Uh, I also thank HODs, teaching staff and non-teaching staff for uh, um, helping uh, in all the ways to materialize this session. And I also thank the students and uh, for participating in this event. And I also thank uh, uh, Ms. Uh, Daphne, IAC coordinator, for taking efforts to organize this session. Thank you, one and all. Uh, thank you, sir. I once again thank uh, all the students and faculties who have joined. Thank you, madam. Thank you for the wonderful session today. Uh, ma'am, one request. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to have some screenshots and this uh, yes. uh, the brief report, what you make it, and please share it yeah. to me. Because as an innovation ambassador, I would like to put it in the portal. Sure, madam. Uh, I'll share my... In, in my dashboard, I would like to showcase my activities. So uh, thanks. Yeah. Thanks for giving me this opportunity. So kindly share the things, ma'am. Okay, sure, madam. Uh, Thank uh, you. Madam. So can I leave, ma'am? Yes, madam. Thank uh, you, madam. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much.